Okay, so I am a jobless student with no money to be spending on anything frivolous, but I love thrifting books. And I think we all know that if you spend your cash instead of using your card, then your bank account doesn't change and it's not spending real money. And even more so on the next level is spending change. If you spend change, you're like, when were you gonna use that change? You, you're you not. Maybe you were gonna like turn it in in like 10 years and get like $40, like, no. So I'm going to go to the thrift store and I'm going to allow myself to pick out one, two, two books max, two books max. I brought enough quarters for maybe two books. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna see how that goes because normally I buy 10, 12, or 15 books, but we're gonna find our one or two perfect books today and hopefully we get a good one. Okay, we made it, mask on, and we're gonna go find the perfect book. Okay, starting in YA. So it looks like Got a couple and a couple copies of an abundance of Catherine. Of the fault in our stars. This looks like a good book. Hmm. Okay. Oh. This is one of my favorite authors, actually. So this might be one that I get. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Let's look at the fiction. Let's see if anything catches our eye. I do like Kristen Hanna. She's a good author. I read her book, The Nightingale. I enjoy that. Oh my gosh, another Sarah Dessen book. Look at that. Okay. It's cool. So, so far I have three. Let's hope that I can... Okay, let's go check out the classics. Okay, here we're in our classics. Have East of Eden, a book I have been wanting to read for a long time. Hmm. Classic fiction is actually looking pretty, pretty dwindled down. That's okay. I'm sure there's still some good ones in here. Oh, The Great Gatsby. It's a good book. Another great book. Raising the Sun. I don't know if I have this one. Hmm. Sounds really interesting. Essays on American Sign Language Literature. Um, what else? Oh, I remember this book. Sometimes there's 
some books that I read as a kid that I want to reread. Ooh. Illustrated stories from Dickens. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh wow. They have a whole bunch of those who was books. Oh my gosh, they have so many. That's crazy. have to get one if it's someone I look up to and want to learn about. How? Number five. That looks like a cute story. to be a day with a ton of new things here. Okay, so I did end up with more books than I intended, but it was five and it's if you buy four, you get one free. So it's like once you buy more than like two books, it's just worth it to buy four. So I did end up getting both of those books by my favorite author, Sarah Dessen, because I, when I see her, I just need to stock up. She is like my comfort read. Like she just makes me feel good to read her books. It's just, it's a comfort. So I'm very happy that I found these two. I normally only find, oh my gosh, it's hot. I normally only find the ones that I already have, so it, this is great. Um, this is This Lullaby and What Happened to Goodbye. And then I did take that Kristen Hanna book, even though it's a little, it's a little beat up, but that's okay. Um, I'm willing to, to read it anyways. I mean, yeah, I really enjoyed The Nightingale, so I'm hoping that this style of writing is similar, even though it's a very different plot than the nightingale but yeah and then i got this really cool copy of frankenstein and i am not much of a frankenstein aficionado i don't know anything about frankenstein at all but i always hear that this is actually a really really good classic and i really liked this edition it's very thin very very um matte and just really pretty i really like that so I think this will be um, my next read because I have heard so many good things about it and it's it's pretty pretty dense but that's okay because I don't know it should be good and then lastly um, I got the book what is this called my bondage my bondage and my freedom by Frederick Douglass and I wanted to mix in, it's always good for me to get in some nonfiction as well as some fiction. It's like I'll read maybe one nonfiction memoir, biography, or whatever for every like three fiction books I'm reading because I just feel like it's a good balance for me. And I'm very interested in learning about his life written by him. And of course, I love the Barnes & Noble classic editions are just really... I don't know there's something about them that just is really pretty to have on my shelf and I like seeing them together so that's the five books I did get today and even though I spent a little more than I intended that's okay because the quarters helped anyways I mean it really cut down on the on the cost and it's not real money it's just quarters so yeah that's my little mini haul from the thrift store and I'm gonna go get to reading those I hope you have a great day Bye.